on, on your, your comments relative to the budget, you referenced yes. a $1.22 billion increase in this year's budget. Can you break that out in terms of where those increases come from? One point. Uh, uh, Roughly. Uh, would you repeat? I'm not, I'm not certain I heard. How is it broken out? One, 166.8 from formula based aids. 103.7 from formula based aids. Um, okay, here goes some numbers. 166.6 for formula based aids. When you add building aid reimbursement, it goes up to 403. And when you add the federal funds, Title I and IDEA, then it brings it down to 1.22. Okay. Um, for. Yeah. The, the, this money is going to the. Uh, uh, what I discussed, the formula-based aids that I mentioned earlier, you know, the uh, foundation aid, the, the high-tax aid, the, you know. Policies, transportation, bill. Oh, okay. That's the transportation. Then this next number here. The next number deals with the 166 plus building aid reimbursement. And reorganization. Yes. So now we're at close to... And then you add both the IDEA and Title I, and that brings you to $1.2 billion. Okay. What I'm asking you is a direct question. In as much as you are chair of the Education Committee and negotiated on behalf of the Senate, why this plan that freezes base aid for two years? Why not do it one year, as we generally do, and set ourselves up for next year? You're already sending a message that forget next year. Who made that decision, and why did that conclusion be, why was that reached? My question is, again, why was that negotiation reached in that fashion? Because we're going to be asked the question, I want to be able to give an appropriate answer. Um, Mm. Yes, true. Senator Oppenheimer, I appreciate your graciousness and courtesy. Mr. President, on the bill. Senator Flanagan on the bill.